hello everyone and no senses here back with another video so today um what i'm gonna do is teach you guys a few tips and tricks with planes now it won't just be the f14 tomcat it will also be with the other planes because i know each one has their own differences so uh, first off what the heck is going on i don't remember any of my friends joining what is hello i guess they no okay they're just wanting to shoot me so uh i'm gonna go ahead and take off so as you can see that was a wonderful takeoff right there so it's kind of hard to see in first person don't want to crash into my own building so you just take it on around and sharp turn slow down so that I can shoot their vehicle now I'm gonna go ahead and land hopefully without crashing there you go where are they they seem to have ran So I guess that means I can just blow up their car and get a new jet. Where did this person go? So let me get my M17 and my hotbar in case they decide to come back and show themselves for a fight. Alright, so um, let's actually go in order with these. Uh, so the Mustang, let's do this. So the Mustang, it has only one seat. And it has a very easy takeoff. It just does it for you no matter what angle you're at. Because the way that its landing gear is. So smooth old takeoff right there. And let's get into this. So in case you don't have a jet slash plane or don't know how to fly it. And uh, yes, if you're using a console, by the way, they don't work. Uh, it's a Roblox issue, so Roblox would have to fix their control system for that. So, anyways, whatever way you move your cursor, or if you're on mobile, whichever way you move your camera, that is where the plane is going to go. It's kind of like a heli. Um, and then, of course, you can also use the left and right. But, to make it do these very sh much sharper turns which they go kind of crazy and then also with planes they have fairly accurate bullets and wow I almost crashed into that heli I haven't used the Mustang in so long that I am not used to shooting its guns Alright, and so this should be the last round going for it. There we go. Easy kill with the Mustang. Alright, so uh, one problem that most people have with <clears throat> all the planes is landing. So I'm going to show you landing on all three once I use them. Hi. With the Mustang, it's fairly easy, but with the two jets, those are similar in the way you land, but they both have slightly different ways to do it. There are, you can do it the same way as you would a normal plane by taking it super slow, and some may stall onto the runway. But, you know, with jets, that's not always the best option. Because in War Tycoon, the hitboxes are insane. And if you hit a tiny little pebble, you explode. It's stupid. So, um, also, by the way, if you are on a computer, I suggest going to the gear in the top left up there and uh, turning off the automatic landing gear because it can definitely help out a bunch with planes and also some helicopters so what I do I press M to put up and down landing gear 
That was actually not my best landing because I have not. What the heck is this plane doing? All right, let me retry that because I just committed funny right there. Um. So yeah, uh, I can show you guys. So when you're taking off, you can go max speed, easy peasy, and then you can press M if you're on a uh, computer and you had turned off auto landing gear. And let's see here, we got another helicopter. Oh wow, that was close. I almost lost my wing. Alright, so that was super risky of me. I don't suggest trying to replicate that because I almost died of crash. Okay, so I press M, I put down my landing gear. So what I do, I come like this, and with a Mustang, you can do this all you want. You can just stall your way there, and then just roll out like that. And then we move on to the jets. So let me go ahead and get the MIG-24 Falcom. So here's where it gets a little more tricky because it's not immediately at an angle. You might have to pull up a bit, especially some of these bases. There are mountains right in front of the runway, so you have to pull up. I think like this one, yeah, you have to pull up a bit earlier so you don't crash. Uh, so yeah, jets, they can definitely turn a lot quicker. They don't require as much speed before you start stalling. Uh, yeah, it's about third, around 30% power output where you begin stalling. So... You can pull up, you can do all that, do your turns, and then don't crash. Yeah, here's the problem with the MiG-24. It doesn't really like to pull up as much. So, I guess I'm uh, just skip to the F-14 Tomcat for the landing and takeoff because they're pretty similar enough. Okay, here we go, F-14 Tomcat be taken off. This thing has the most flat of all landing uh, wing position. Yeah, the landing gears. So you will have to pull up even more than you would with the MiG. And so this thing, it can do some pretty tight turns. It's the fastest jet. And I almost crashed again. Wow, I'm not making this look too good, am I? So, um, yeah. All right, so if you're going down like this, you can actually lower your speed. Don't drop it all the way to zero. Otherwise, the gravity will kick in and you start falling really fast. So instead, bring it to around 20 speed, so it makes you actually start going a bit and not be affected by gravity as much. So yeah, that slows you down. You can see here, I'm dropping fairly fast and then I pull it up. Don't gun it, because you'll need to look up, and then once you can look up, that's when you absolutely put the throttle to the maximum you can and that's how you just pretty much avoid crashing down and there is a ground target so with ground targets what you want to do you turn around you get high and then you can get to a close to stalling speed and you just slide up your target and make sure you don't crash into the ground do that same strategy you oh flares here's a perfect opportunity so whenever there's missiles coming at you and you know they're gonna shoot again 
you can just flare and go into a turn. And that wasn't my best one, but it still worked. Okay, so here you go. You turn. You make sure you get a stall warning so you can go down even faster. And then you just want to finesse with the throttle. How did that hit me? Y'all saw I was inside the flares. What? This game is tripping out or something. Okay, so anyways, you just want to make sure you are inside the flares at all times because jets, it is slightly harder to dodge a mass amount of lock-ons because you can't just hover because it's, well, a jet, not a helicopter. Alright, so yeah, uh, there's two lessons in one. One with flares and one with learning how to do that. So tight turns, this will help with the flares. So what you want to do, you can just turn like this, you can turn like this, but a real good way to turn, you put your cursor to the top right. Well, I was talking, so kind of didn't do it fast enough. So you start slowing down, you put your cursor to the top right, and then once you're mid-turn, you speed all the way back up, and you slowly bring the cursor down. Make sure you're not huh, too low, otherwise you might crash. So just always be watching your height. And that's how you can do some decently tight turns. Okay, with landing with jets. So landing gear down, that means max speed is now 79% power. So I actually did it a bit early. So with jets, even though it may seem like you need a really low speed, let me take this guy out first. Landing gear up. I do this, do the little trick to get some good height, and nice easy kill right there. Okay, so I just do a good old turnaroo, landing gear is down, and then I come in with some decent speed, you see I'm at 60%, and then both well, all wheels touch ground, and I just bring back the speed. Easy as that. And that's how you land a jet. Because I know some people, they struggle sometimes with it. Always crashing, not knowing the right speed. So yeah, you, uh, you can go any speed, not too slow, of course. And yeah, that's just how you do it. If you want to take off, make sure you're flatter when you take off the second time because the mechanics are like that, where if you try to pull up too early on your second takeoff, it just doesn't work out too well. Okay, one thing I've learned to do as well, if you want to land and have a quicker takeoff later, right, you can... Just, ow, okay, not do what I did. I slowed down way too much. See, that's why you want to have some speed, but you can come over the tank shed, I mean the hangar, and then land smoothly on the runway. So you have to take it a little slower there. Not stalling, of course, because uh, then you'll crash. Okay, see how the plane was just bouncing? That's why you don't want to pull up immediately. So I'll show this one more time and hopefully I actually do somewhat decent with this one. Okay, so I'm bringing it to 35% because that's enough where it's not stalling. And there, okay, and I stalled. I'm not doing too good for the recording. But normally uh, you can just keep it from 35 to 30% power so you're not stalling and then once you touch ground you can just pull back even more and so yeah that's how you can do some pretty good jet maneuvers uh, and all so um 
let's see with the Mustang I can go up and yes you can do a few maneuvers it's not as maneuverable but if you do it just right you can actually turn slightly faster than the jets giving you an advantage in a, a dogfight even though you don't have flares or lock-ons you are still able to easily take out jets as long as you have the aim and you know how to turn properly so if y'all so what happens fairly often in war tycoon dogfights both people will end up spinning in a circle just like this make sure you have your cursor pointing up higher so you don't crash to the ground and you see look at my throttle at the bottom left i keep lowering and raising it and that helps to gain more speed in the turn so anyways guys that is a few tips and tricks with the jet and so i will see you guys next time good bye everybody oh make sure you uh, like and subscribe of course because you better do that right now otherwise i know where you live i see where you sleep and i am not afraid to uh, see your mom's reaction when you're gone missing so uh yeah you better like and subscribe now especially to my second channel no senses plus where i post my minecraft stuff and yes so uh see you guys goodbye yeah ew that is creepy